X25 is a bodyweight workout with three main goals. We're going to do advanced core training. We're going to mobilize the hips and improve our gait. And we're going to bulletproof the spine and the shoulders. We're done in 20 minutes. Let's get started right now. Here's one of my favorite push-up mobility flows. I love it early in a workout or as a active recovery drill on an off day. What we're gonna do here is, I'm gonna do my classic straight arm. Inhale down, exhale up, shrug. Add in a full range of motion, actually I'm sorry, extended range of motion push-up using the parallettes. And then I take a lunge step onto a heels elevated slant board. That's gonna extend the range of motion for the hip and the knee. And right here, I'm gonna use that upper body self assistance and stability I get, just work on kind of pumping that back leg. I'm not only mobilizing the trail leg hip flexor, but I am strengthening. Think about like a single leg knee extension to get those quads going, particularly the low quads around the knees and also digging those toes into the ground. Now, after I'm kind of pumping and opening it up, I add rotations two ways. Here's the first one, open up this way. All right, open it up, I can come like this, get a little internal, external rotation to the shoulder. Then, check it out, a little bit of a pivot, get into the groin adductors and open up this way. Now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna repeat that process on the other side and kind of just flow for time or do at least, you know, three to five reps per side to really open it up. Parallettes are great, that slight angle, elevation, makes it more accessible, puts your shoulders in a better position and extends the range of motion for the hips. Do it today. Woo, it hurt us for the hips. Now I've got a dog gait. Anything around knee height for your knee is gonna be ideal. What we're gonna do here is really challenge our ability to pick up those big legs, all right? Total hip development, hip flexor in particular, but also hip rotation in and out. So we can go linear and we can go lateral. For the linear emphasis, I like to kind of match my opposite arm leg patterning here, but also focus everything as if you're doing perfect form walking and running mechanics, meaning, nope, everything is straight ahead. Toes forward, directed ahead. So I'm going to exhale on the lift, inhale as I come through. So, pull it back. Now I'm gonna pick it up back over. So there's that rotation that comes through. And then again, the slower, the better, be intentional about it. Then switch sides. Of course I had to, see that? That's what we're trying to correct. I look like I'm doing stinky leg. No, pull it back and try to level it out as you come through and you can see how it rotates. So this trail leg on the way forward, it internally rotates, then it's gonna externally rotate back as I pick up and pull through. So again, stay stable, go slow and be intentional about a long, longer one to two plus minute work periods here. Or you set the clock for five or 10 minutes and just hurdle, okay? Now laterally, I'm gonna stop down, pull through, come back the other way. All right, so a little bit of a lateral emphasis. It's gonna feel a little bit different, a little more adductor groin coming through side to side. Both of these options, again, Strengthening the hip flexors, improving single leg balance and stability and overall walk run mechanics. And the key is when I'm trying to engage my hip flexor on one side, I've got to be active with the glute on the other side. Stomp down, lift. And again, if I did this fast, all right, I'm not getting the stability and motor control benefits. I want to be super intentional about how I move over the gate. Do this and you still will not be able to do hurdles. As if the sliding leg curl isn't challenging enough, we're adding some in and out action to really change the stimulus and get the inner and outer or lateral medial hamstrings going even more. You'll even get some abductor and adductor work here as well, total backside exercise. So I'm gonna bridge up, maintain that full hip extension as I do so the entire exercise. That's what we want, to engage those hip extensors and high hamstrings, glutes, high hammies here, lower hamstrings become active on the knee movement. So I'm high, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by sliding out, inhale going out, and then coming back, I'm gonna sweep the legs out into the return. Ooh, that is diabolical, biscuits! And then what I'm gonna do is the opposite. I'm gonna come out, sweep there, and then pull back in close. All right, so this one is gonna be a real challenge. Try to make sure to drive the arms underneath to help maintain that stability. 
and this in particular sliding out and then back in. Now this is gonna cook you. So do the best you can. You can always back off to regular reps. Rest, pause as needed, or just go out eccentrically and cheat back in with the hips down as we've shown before. But do the best you can. Keep in mind too, this is a very high friction surface. So a carpet or a piece of turf will make it easier, less friction, easier movement, more friction, more resistance, okay? Hammies, fast feet complex, four drills, 30 seconds each, back to back to back to back. I've got some masking tape on the ground to give a true line delineation. I'm gonna show you each movement in order here. And the big focus is keep it tight. See in the balls of the feet, the first one is feet over the line, front to back, so we get like this. Keep the knees soft, okay? We never wanna lock out, you wanna be soft and bendy. We're not going major bend though, if you bend the knees more and squat down more, you do get more thigh recruitment. So I'm gonna mix between an exhale and inhale, continuously going over the line. I'm swinging the arms forward and backward with me, seeing on the balls of the feet, keeping it nice, tight, and quick. Next 30 is the same thing with a side to side emphasis. You can go hands here, here, kind of let them sway with you, it's up to you. But stay tight over the line. That's the second 30. Third 30, we're gonna kind of scissor it, all right? Sitting on the balls of the feet, I'm gonna do a couple bounces on an inhale and then exhale to switch and repeat. So. All right, so it's a couple bounces, switch. A couple bounces, switch. Fourth and final is the base rotation. We're trying to dissociate hips and shoulders as if I was a linebacker turning and changing direction. So the hips turn, the shoulders stay forward. So what I'm gonna do is continue with that smooth tap. Notice how I kinda swizzle at the shoulder. Swizzle, all right, and I come right back. So bounce. I keep going back and forth over that line. And you just, I'll kind of freeze frame it for you again. I kind of go like that. So turn the shoulders this way as the hips turn the opposite way. Come back and then same thing, other side. In and out quick, straight line it. Two minutes of total cardio. So it's aerobic, anaerobic, fast feet, calves, cardio, get it done. Get ready for some serious core and shoulder stability with the plank tap complex. I can tap my hand. I can tap my elbow pits, I can tap my shoulders, I could tap my shoulders more easily or more difficultly coming over the top. English ain't my personal language, fitness is. So from there, I can go hips, I can go ass, all right? I can even do some internal rotation, touch the small of my lower back, touch my knee, touch my foot, touch my opposite foot, kind of coming into that down dog positioning. And I start slow and the big focus is Hips and shoulders square. I wanna be able to touch without having to do too much of this changing motion. I'm still in stable. I'm driving my toes underground, pushing through the ground with the support hands. Make it harder by elevating the feet or bringing the feet closer together. You make it easier by making the feet wider or elevating your hands. Either way, for extended time of your tensions, it's gonna light you up. It's gonna stabilize you all the way through the spine and the shoulders. And uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna burn real nice too. The 6-6 six, six split skater jump cardio complex. What we do here is we blend two lower body plyo exercises and by mixing between them for six reps each, three per side, so six total, three per side, alternating single leg situation, we allow ourselves to stay in motion. So we're blending these resistance moves to get the cardio effect, so it's legs and lungs. Here's what it looks like. I'm gonna start, and when we do this with the split, opposite arm leg patterning, you're gonna inhale down. Exhale up, you can start slower. Stick the landings, push through. Once you get six, you'll stand and go right into your skaters. Triple bends, ankles, knees, and hips. Drive that back leg back to make sure you don't go too far to the side. Swipe the arms across the body. So I get my six, I go right back to the splitties. You can build some speed as you kind of warm up into it. We modify the, the uh, split jump. Instead of the split jump, I can do just drop split squats, where I start here and I drop into the bottom position, all right? Or I can just do alternating lunges. Skaters, I modify with the skater steps, so the back leg touches. So I can start on those warming up and then build into it or back off to it over the course 
of the sequence. Now, six, six for time. If you're plugging this into a circuit, keep going. If you wanna make this a six, 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 six split jumps, six skater jumps, six straight minutes. Awesome starter, finisher, mini workout, in a time, in a wheel. Blast off push-ups, full body, fat loss, metabolic conditioning. Now, I'm against the wall, I'm adding the slant boards in this manner to improve the activation. Also, gets me more on the toes, like sprinters off the blocks or linemen out of his stance for more low quad development, foot and toe strengthening. So what we're gonna do here is, I get set up, and again, you can do this on the floor without having this, but what this allows me to do is, I can push off, so I'm getting more leg involvement. The more my legs get behind the exercise, right, the more full body, the more calories burnt, more leg development, but also the more deceleration demands as I come forward with my upper body. So it actually makes the arm and shoulder, chest, ab work more intense. So we can start nice and slow. And again, you're gonna try to stay low, inhale back, push forward, blast off plank, feel it out. All right, get bending the legs. Then from there, lower, and now I have to push back. The pushback smokes the shoulders and the traps, the mid back area. So now I can mix between some slower reps. I go super slow. Pause the bottom, do a little pulsing, come back even slower, and I can also mix in some faster reps. Where I can start slow, finish fast, start fast, finish slow, mix tempos. Either way, one to two plus minutes on this, melts you out, and add the wall to get the most out of it, add the slant boards to make it next level. Ooh, okay, buddy. First 10 minutes, Mobility focus, second 10 minutes, metabolic focus. Combined together, you're done in 20 minutes. Classic express body workout you can do anytime, anywhere. Those two minute work periods are no joke. So rest, pause as needed from session to session. Take less rest, stay in motion longer. That's how we make a change. Make your post-workout report in the comment section below. And have a beautiful workout today. Your body's your barbell because now you know how to use it. Go. Halfway. Rest. 
go. Halfway. Go. Halfway.
go. Halfway. Halfway.
go. Halfway. Halfway. Get. 
go. Halfway. Rest. <laughs> <laughs> 